and welcome to today's video. I'm guessing if you clicked on this video, you know who Whitney Simmons is, but if not, she is one of my favorite health and fitness YouTubers and influencers, if you will. I think she's such an amazing role model. Her outlook on health and fitness is so maintainable and just the way she like presents herself and like speaks to her audience, I really, really appreciate. And she inspired me to do Vlogmas and she introduced me to Gymshark. I remember when I first started the Sarah's Day Fitness eBook, I would finish off with Whitney's ab workouts and they were just the best. So the thought of having her workouts in an app, I was so excited. So this video is all about her new app and what I found after testing it out for a week. I'll take you guys through some workouts that I did. Okay, so starting off, her app is called Live and it is free to download. However, you need to get a subscription. So she offers a seven day free trial, which is what I did this week. And then after that, it is $25 a month, which is actually pretty good. I don't know if that's American dollars or Australian dollars. I think it's Australian. It's cheaper than a gym membership. And if you have a gym membership, it's kind of just like adding on $6 each week. If you don't buy $6 worth of takeout each week, you can put that $6 towards the app and you're doing yourself a much better favor. So I've been trying her eight week Alive 1.0 program. So it's got heaps of different workouts in there. Her workouts are all strength based, which is what I like. I normally do like functional workouts, but it was good to try something different and just focus on just weights. The workouts that I've done so far start off with like five minutes on the treadmill or five minutes incline walk. And then the leg day one moved into some glute activation exercises, which I think are amazing. And I'm so glad she incorporated these in this app because lots of fitness programs just tell you to do the glute activation, but lots of people don't actually know what they are and what to do for it. So I'll show you guys workout number one now. Her workouts consist of lots of supersets, which I love by the way. So it's when you do two exercises back to back with no break. It just feels like I'm working harder when I do supersets. So love that. This exercise here was something that I've never actually done before. And at first I didn't really think I was doing it right and I wasn't really feeling it. But after a few reps, I started to really feel it in my glutes and hamstrings and the next day my legs were really sore. So this was a great exercise and if you haven't tried it out, definitely would recommend. And then as you can see on my phone, this is an example of the little video you get of her showing you what to do. And then here we have this awkward moment where one of the personal trainers um, interrupts my video. Just a bit awkward, you know? So I've just finished my first workout using the Alive app and honestly it was pretty good. I found that my heart rate didn't get super high. It was kind of like a chill strength workout but the app is so like easy to navigate and use and understand. So I didn't really get to say much after I finished because my camera went flat at the gym. The main thing that I noticed on the app was that um, it's super easy to navigate and you can understand what the exercise is really well because she has these little um, GIF not gifts, but like videos when you click on the exercise and it shows you what to do. This would be great for beginners if they don't really know what the exercise is. But one recommendation would maybe be to have some writing somewhere near it. So like some cues or something saying what to do for the exercise. Yes, it is helpful seeing someone do it, but then you also kind of need just like a little bit of words or writing so you know what to do kind of. I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit hard to I don't really know what I'm saying. For my first workout, I'll put this up on the screen. I tracked this with my Fitbit and my heart rate was, what is happening to my throat? My heart rate was mostly in the fat burning zone, which is nice. Um, and then I had 12 minutes in cardio, which means the fat burning zone, you're using like fat for energy and then in cardio, you're using more carbs for energy. So her workout lasted around 60 minutes, I'm pretty sure. So after I did the legs workout, I finished off with one of her 10 minute ab ones and I loved her ab workout it's again so easy to use the time is there like it's all there for you if you want music i'm pretty sure it can play in the background i'm not sure i didn't test it out it was just an all-round really good workout besides the workout programs that are featured at the top i obviously didn't realize that she has two workout programs i only saw the one which was the 1.0 but i'll finish that and then I'll move on to stronger 
but below that she's got all these different workouts for certain muscle groups so i think there's push pull legs abs and hit and all that stuff so if you go to the gym one day and you're just feeling like something different you don't really want to follow a whole workout program you can just select like 10 or 30 minute workout specific for a muscle group sometimes if i go for a walk but i'm feeling like a bit extra i'll go to like this grassy area and smash out like one of her hit workouts so when you're doing a workout there's like a timer when you're doing the exercises it tells you how long like it should take you like at the max to finish this it just kind of tracks how long you take to do each exercise so everything is timed throughout the app and so i'll quickly go over the pros of this app first one is is that she has a progress picture section so you can add your own progress photos on there i think photos like that are amazing when i do my transformations i always take before and after photos because that's like the easiest way to compare For things like this you're going to be gaining muscle and tracking your weight isn't really going to be beneficial because you're going to be gaining muscle and that weighs more than body fat so you probably won't think you're doing it right if you're gaining weight or staying the same so progress photos are amazing and i'm so glad she's incorporated that number two how easy it is to navigate and how it's all set up really neatly and pretty third one is how she includes the glute activation things and like warm-ups because Lots of workout programs don't actually do that, which can make it hard for people and people can get confused if they're beginners. Fourth is the different variety of workouts that she's got. So she hasn't just got her program, which people can follow. She's also got the other workouts. So you can pick and choose what you want to do. Number five is how when you're doing the workout, you get the picture of the screen on the screen of what you're actually doing. And so on her app, I didn't really use this feature much because I've only just done the seven day free trial. But she has this section where you can like track your progress. There's also achievements at the bottom. So every time you complete a workout, like you get this little badges, which I think is so cute. And then it also tells you a history at the top of what workouts you've done. So I just find that like really motivating and encouraging. So you can look back. It kind of forces you to keep going because you're like, oh, I want to earn another badge and blah, blah, blah. Another positive. I love how she made an app, not a fitness ebook. Because apps are so much more interactive and they're so much more motivating than just having an ebook. Ebooks can be great, but the fact that she's gone to the effort to make an app, which I know would have been a lot more expensive and a lot more time consuming, because one day I randomly tried to ring up this app company because I just want to see how much it costs. And I was told it could be ranging from $10,000 to $500,000. And I was just like, oh, I'll call you back in about 10 years. Now moving on to the things that I would recommend. First of all, as I said before, is just to have some text or something underneath the exercise. There's just like a bit more guidance of how to do it properly. Because some of the exercises I've never done before and I was a bit confused and I wasn't really feeling it. So I don't know if I was doing it right or not. Second one, I know the app's only like new, but if she could have more than five workouts for each of the different categories, like the push, pull, hit, all that stuff, that'd be great because if I was paying this like monthly and I only had five workouts to choose from with each of the categories, I feel like it's just not a lot. And But the ones she's put out there, I can tell she's put a lot of thought and effort into them. They're not just random exercises chucked together. They're all there for a reason. I know a few people have requested that she does like sounds or warnings when it gets to the end of the timer um but i'm not too fast really because i don't even wear headphones to the gym so that doesn't really bother me but then like again with the ab exercises i don't know if like that could be helpful because you're kind of on your back and you can't like see when the time is ending i would recommend this maybe not for the newest of new people to the fitness industry for some of these exercises you need really good technique and if you're not doing it right you could maybe injure yourself which is not great. I think that this program would be great for people who maybe are kind of new um, to like fitness, but like not brand new to the gym or no matter how long they've been doing it, they are just looking for a new source of motivation, which is kind of like me. I just wanted to try something new, give myself another challenge. However, I do love chucking in like a hit workout throughout the week because I just really enjoy getting really sweaty and stuff in a workout and i found with these ones i didn't feel like i was working heaps hard at the start but when it got near the end i started to get sweaty and stuff which is good but overall i think no matter who you are you could definitely give this program a crack the seven day free trial is amazing and i it just gives you a taste of the app you get access to everything as well which is good because sometimes when you do this you are limited to what you can do on the seven day free trial and i can't wait for the day when i make my own fitness app that is like my main goal with YouTube and all that. That's like 
what I'm striving for most is to one day be able to make my own app, open my own gym and all of that stuff. That's about it for this review. Hope you guys got something out of this or found it interesting. And if you did enjoy, please give it a like and subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you in my next video.